Now, I will be honest, this isn't the first bar where I've sensed things, you know, and I think honestly part of that is all vibration. It's not to say this is at all a bad place, but when you think of, you know, the kind of vibes that, that can exist, you know, um, and, and the fact that like um, alcohol in general reduces our vibration a little bit while we're using it. So the reason I bring that up is I would say that there is at least one energy here I'll try and get more information about. I can't really discern male, female because it's not appearing to me in human form. Does that make it exceptionally evil? I don't know, it's avoiding me. But I will tell you that it's not uncommon for entities like that to gravitate to places like bars because they can feed off of the energy there. So, you know, if somebody is in a bad place, they'll gravitate to that person, you know what I mean? So if you consider it almost like a feeding ground of sorts, you know? Now, what's interesting to me is it's appearing to me almost like a, a dog form. Okay. okay. Now, okay. I'm not saying it's a dog that passed on, though. It does not feel that way. It okay. feels like an entity, maybe something more elemental and more tied. Mm, um, I honestly think that it's been here. Mike playing with the hot box. Okay. I kind of feel like <coughs> there could be a, an open doorway in this building, okay. um, but that existed even before this was here. As in like a portal? Yeah. Are you okay. talking like the bar or before the building was even erected? Mm, I would say it's in the building itself. So before yeah. it was even erected, so but 1800s. Yes. I would say though that, no, I would say that it was, the portal was opened on in the building after the building was built, so I don't know what year that was, but I do feel though like it's been here longer than this establishment's been in the building, for okay. sure. Um, this just makes me feel like, if I'm honest, the portal was open because there are some bad things that maybe happened in this space at one time. I have no clue the history of this building, I have no idea, but I feel like before this establishment was here, Maybe some things of an illegal nature were happening or something along those lines. I'm even seeing, okay, I don't even know if things around Prohibition era happened here because it just makes me feel like I'm getting this vibe of people kind of sneaking to move things, if that makes sense. So whether that would be drugs or alcohol or something else illegal. Um, I think it was around that time that somebody who was not in a good place, so I think sometimes portals can be opened knowingly, meaning, you know, when somebody messes around with a Ouija board or messes around with witchcraft, but they can also be opened unknowingly, and this can happen around the time of, like, an emotional trauma. If somebody already is in a really bad place, maybe they're struggling with addiction, they're not able to look at it, you know, it, it just feels like some kind of big act or trauma could have opened that doorway long before this establishment was here in this building, though. I don't know. I mean, when I tune in, in general, as I said, it's fairly common for me to see beings like the one I described showing in dog form. I mean, they don't always show themselves the same way, but elemental type energies that might more need sustenance to stay in the form that they're in. And so if you consider that their form is a much lower vibration than something like angelic would be, that they're going to feed off lower vibration things, pain, heartbreak, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. negative energy, um, anger, resentment, and unfortunately a lot of people drink to deal with those feelings. So right. bars just tend to be, you know, good places for them to gravitate in terms of, of getting what they need. That thing comes and goes, it's not here all the time, and hence the portal. Like I just feel comes and goes. Can you sense where the portal is centered, or is it just here in the building? For whatever reason, in all honesty, I'm really drawn to that area okay. over there. Okay, right over there. I mean, there's nothing there that would necessarily show us that on a physical level. It's just a draw that I have and just a feeling that I have. Um, I would say that this is a space that gets a fair amount of traffic. People don't always realize that, in my opinion, um, spirits don't have to be tied to a location, especially if there is a portal or ample energy. So, you know, sometimes they're wandering around trying to find someone to help them. I just see a fair amount of traffic, which to me is another sign that there may be a portal on the property. Mm -hmm. 